Ryan's entirely wrong Kicked a hole in the game before multiple views by Tommy gone Gotta be strong when you're popping the paparazzi phone Sliders singing in your local precinct like You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi to the director of the movie. Get out your feelings. Tell them don't sue me. Shout out to all my supporters, everybody that watches this content. Got a couple things I want to talk about today. Uh, shout out to Lehman College, first and foremost. We was at Lehman College in the Bronx yesterday talking to some students and some people. Shout out to Nikki Knowledge for setting it up. Uh, we had, I had, it was about hip-hop, fashion, things like that. Being able to speak publicly is obviously a trait that some people have. And just doing TED, TED Talks and being able to give back to the community. I'm from the Bronx. It was in the Bronx. We do have a recording that's getting edited now. And we'll go ahead and throw it on the channel, you know what I'm saying? Just for the people that want to see that kind of content. Because we've been doing some different things. Myself, Showtime SP was there. And it was definitely a good experience. So shout out to Lehman College in the Bronx. Especially being able to... Uh, do that at home, it was a great thing. 25,000 on the floor for John John and Easy. I will definitely talk about that. I see people hitting me up about the commander of the uh, BBL Brigade, talking about she gonna sue me and all this other stuff. Listen, let me tell y'all something. I ain't worried. Please, get out of here. Get out of here, man, shit, you know I'm saying? Get out of here for real, you know I'm saying? Get out of here for real, you know what I'm saying? Cause she ain't got the money. You don't have it. I'm sorry. If you had anything near the money it takes to bring someone to court for something like this, you wouldn't be in the position that you in. See, the thing is, you mad because you got ghost writing allegations again. And you just had them last month. And you had them before. LeBron, tell us about that. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. Oh. Hey. And when I say that, and, and when I say that, I really believe it. And you had him with Brett, and you had him with Nitty, and you had him all throughout your career. I don't understand why it takes 15 times. And the thing is, I really don't care about what you got going on. It's you getting in your feelings. Now you want to fight Yoshi, and then you jumped in my comments yesterday talking about keep it up, you be able, but I blocked you. You know why I blocked you? I'm going to tell you why I blocked you. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. Because if you want to sue somebody or if you want to pursue some street shit, just do it. Like we don't want to, we don't have to go back and forth. I don't have to talk to you. I don't work for you. I don't work for a league you are. I don't even work for the people that pay you. So I don't have to listen to you. We don't have to go back and forth. And I don't argue with women. You know what I'm saying? Like why am I going to go back and forth with a woman? Are you dumb? 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 <laughs> Are you dumb? <laughs> Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you Are you I said what I said, it is what it is. I made a video that made that motherfucker's guilty. 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 That motherfucker's be that mother and you still are I don't care how you feel it is what it is and she's got an ugly spirit like it's not even a good it's not even a good vibe person you did all of that with rock and created the whole Fred drama and when when the, when the BS was happening um in the in the street I'm gonna call Fred I'm matter of fact, I'm calling Fred keep playing with me I'm calling Fred <laughs> drug your goofy ass up the street Remy got a card coming up. Are you on it? No, because she don't rock with you either. So leave me alone. I don't want no problems with you. Whatever you got to do, do it. There's nothing else to talk about. John John versus Easy. 25,000 on the floor, John John. John John. What the hell? How you letting this? How is he getting this? You letting, them, you letting this happen like this? Is you letting this happen like this? 25,000 on the floor? Oh my goodness, man. Listen. And then you, and then it's in Philly too? Who's the A side? Who's the B side? Like, so uh, Showtime SP had asked John John yesterday, who's the A side, who's the B side in their particular battle. 
and John John, I guess he put up the views, you know what I'm saying? Like he got like 40 million views and Easy only got like five or six, but that's not really a comparative tool. My boy, that is not a comparative tool because all the battles don't get released on YouTube. If all of Easy's drops was released on YouTube, he'd have more than whatever millions that you were using as your uh, as your statistic. Now, do I feel like John John is gonna be able to bring some shit? I'm sure he is. I'm sure he better. He better. He better. He 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 better. You know what I'm saying? He better bring some shit. Uh I seen that the trenches is gonna be over this. Um I, that's a good thing. Um you know, bullpen has done their thing, but I just want, like, if it's one league over, let one league be over, let one league run everything, and that's how you know it ain't a bunch of different shit going on. You know what just happened last week, you know what I'm saying? Half the niggas, these niggas ain't show up on this card, that niggas on that show. Let, let John John focus on rapping. Let him focus on rapping. I said in my other joint, and I mean it, and I've been looking around, and I've been seeing other people's react. Mr. Fab, no. Mm-mm. We not doing that. Jay Mills, no. Those battles, those... You got people that's out here doing this. That's we. That's not your level of competition. You are way, 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 way past the level of com of competition to be. Nigga. Be battling somebody on a, on a small level like that. You shouldn't be doing that. You, you know what I'm saying? And and the thing is, it's great for your business. You know what I'm saying? But a win versus a battle like Easy would do a lot for John John. It would do a lot for Easy. Now, um, twenty five thousand on the floor is a lot of money. I'm be honest with you. Uh, it's going to be pretty embarrassing. That night is going to be embarrassing for someone. Someone's going to stand there and watch the other person pick 25000 off the floor. Maybe you could, maybe y'all could give old girl something so it could help her with her lawsuit because she ain't got the fucking money. Somebody told a lie one day. Picking money off the floor, throwing it in a bag, talking they shit. It's going to be amazing. That will be a great feeler. Um, I've been hearing a lot of uh, whispers about other people who could potentially be on the card. Uh, hopefully, Loso. If I see Loso, I'd like to see Loso versus Riggs. I love what Riggs does. Riggs is nice. Uh, I would like to see that. So, easy. Whoever. John John. I know y'all be watching these blogs and shit. So, you know, maybe you can, y'all can work that Riggs and Loso. i like to see Riggs and Loso. That would be a great, great, great look. Um, but, it's good to see these independent leagues continuing to do things, continuing to blossom, continue to grow because battle rap needs the trenches. Battle rap needs the RBEs of the world, the king of the dots of the world. It needs the bullpens of the world. Um, I know there was a lot of controversy with the whole bullpen thing that went on last weekend or whatever the case, it was, it was like bullpen and dope era or whatever the case may be. But here's the deal. Uh, I think, I seen, so I seen John Jaws live, the one that he took down. And I would just say it like this, right? He says that the bloggers don't have experience in being business owners, running leagues and running companies and, uh, you know, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And he has a very valid point. Most of the bloggers do not have experience in that. But you know what they have experience in, sir? They have experience in the most important thing, and that's being a fucking customer. You know customer service. You know when customer service is good. You know when customer service is bad. You know when you pay for a product, whether you're getting what you want or what you don't want. So the customer's always right. So if I go to Applebee's or if I go to Apple and buy uh, a product and the shit don't work or it's malfunctioning, the CEO of the company is not going to tell me I've never owned an Apple before. I can't tell him why this product is defective. So I think that in hindsight being 2020, I think John John definitely wanted to do something good, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to provide this event, do something, but he wanted to cut himself out of, absolve himself from all of the costs. He already said he had an event a week or so ago before that, you know, his, his resources was there. So he was going to come over here and do this with Mr. Fab, who did not do his shit together right, and now, you know, everybody's on him. But for me, I, I, I've seen bullpen conduct business, do shit on a great level, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure these niggas is gonna get that shit right. With me and Mr. Fab, I feel like Mr. Fab should give everybody a refund who purchased that. That's how I feel. Me personally, he should get every single person. King Bow did it. King Bow did it and it never came back. He knew his shit was wrong. He knew motherfuckers wasn't seeing the paper. We get everybody a refund. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't about arguing with different fans and shit like that. I've seen them going back and forth with different people online. It's not even worth it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, because you're right if you're right, you're wrong if you're right too. Niggas don't give a fuck. Nobody cares about the reason and why. Nobody cares about the reason and why. Uh, what, what, what my man Jada Kiss say? 
you from y'all, because y'all from like the same block, right? If something happened while you was in charge, then you were to blame. You get the blame. <laughs> you get the blame. With heavy, with, what they say? With heavy expectations and all of them cliche shits that people be saying, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I think that this event should run well, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, the trenches does have a definite uh, good reputation of having pretty solid events that make it all the way through. It gives us that gritty feel. Uh, we can get folks maybe like a Hollow Man and all of these other cats, the K Walkers of the world, you know, versus some of the bullpen cats. They got clone. They got some other people down there. It could be a pretty interesting card. Um, I see people saying uh, A side, B side. Uh, John John was saying, you know, he just used the views or whatever the case may be in his name as the A side, B side. But draw means a lot, you know what I'm saying? The draw, or who is the bigger draw in this regard? Y'all answer, y'all tell me this. In the comments, please, who is the A side, who is the B side, and who do you have winning this battle? Because it's set up for, <laughs> it's in Philly, <laughs> it's on the trenches, it's 25,000 on the floor. That's a lot. They lining my nigga down. They lining John John up, nigga. They, they, they about to line my, my, my nigga about to get lined up. He said he's pulling up 100 deep. You need 102? Do you need me and SP to come through too? Let me know. I asked you about the uh the the, the hosting the last shit. Y'all niggas ain't y'all niggas played me, but it's cool. So you need me to we can come to, just I can get a ticket, my nigga, don't worry. I can buy a ticket. I can buy a ticket. I support both of y'all. But for me, I just got my own way of doing things. Like my shit be like, it be brash, it be like straightforward. I talk that barbershop talk, I talk that street talk, I talk that nah, that nigga got his ass smoked. A lot of artists don't be wanting to hear that. They be wanting it to be the cute way to, oh, I think it was a debatable. I, I got to watch it again. They like that. They like that. I got to watch it again. I ain't watching shit again. That nigga got smoked in that battle right there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, shout out to uh, John John and Easy, 25000 on the floor. I mean, that's a... That's, that's definitely some bread. That's definitely some bread. And somebody, what? The timeline that night? I pay for the pay-per-view. As long as everybody go... It, I ain't gonna pay for the pay-per-view. I might go to that motherfucker. I might go who? I'll buy my ticket. You know they ain't gonna give me no tickets. I'll buy it. <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. But yeah, um, shout out to all the battle rappers out there, all the leagues out there. Uh, Fox, we will be back on Fox. We got um, we got a couple. We got some good, 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 good guests coming up real soon. We had to swap a couple things around because one of my guests actually has a battle coming up, and I'm very, very excited about this one. I ain't really gonna say their name, what they got going on, but they got something going on, so I want them to focus on that. But the next guest that we have coming in a, in a couple of days is going to be uh, it's going to be pretty solid too, and probably somebody that y'all want to see. But uh, dear fans, like, don't let these artists out here try to bully you. Don't let these artists out here try to tell you how things are going to go and try to do all that. Man, oh no, 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 stand on your square. If if you and this is for media and bloggers. If you blogging and you got a topic, you don't have to contact no artists. We ain't contacting nobody. We see everything come down the timeline and we talk about it. We're not reaching out. We did that's that compromise. When I gotta call somebody and be like, yo, do you have a writer? Or yo, did you No, no, no. Say what you want unapologetically, and that's just gonna be the end of it. I promise you. Because they ain't gonna do nothing. They ain't about to do nothing. Because it's crazy, like, and a lot of people have been asking why do I comment on it, because I'm like, yo, the same person that just said they're going to sue me is telling me to keep it up, like, you threatening me, like, you threatening who? Who you threatening? Like, ain't nobody scared of y'all, I don't care if you sign the Snoop Dogg, I don't care if you sign the E-40, I don't give a fuck who you sign to, I ain't scared of none of them niggas, I'm sorry, it just, no, life don't work like that, I was in the Bronx yesterday, I'll be back real soon. <laughs> I be all around my city, everywhere. I be all in my city, wherever I want to go. And the only thing a nigga take from me is advice or a picture. Why do you think I'm scared of these battle rap niggas? Like, <laughs> niggas don't even own homes or property or cars or nothing. And I'm supposed to be worried about them? Shit, I. Right. <laughs>